Wow, doing another one while uh, my previous one was being published. Cool. Uh, this is part... That, well, okay. Okay, uh, this is good. Uh, this is part two of uh, segment 14. Uh, um, where was I? I mean, maybe I should practice these, uh, do more research, but the thing is, one of these things is this is a beginner's Bible study. This is someone who is finding his way in his faith. And that is why I'm kind of doing it from the cuff, as it were. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not a pastor in a church. I'm not, uh, I, I'm not uh, someone who is like going out uh, giving, uh, uh, lectures, things like that. I'm just sharing my faith. And so that's why I do it the way I do. I mean, if I'm actually going out and uh, like how, be, being a minister, I would do it probably in a different way. But that's um, the um, tenor of of this, uh, at, le at least for me. And because um, I believe, I, be I believe you have to go from the heart. Either the Holy Spirit comes from the heart, or the, it, either the first thought, the first thing that comes out, is from the Spirit. Is from God, or it's the uh, the total opposite direction. Uh, and if it's from the total opposite direction, that's why you have to like rehearse and, and practice and, and turn it on. But hopefully, it's coming from God and from the Holy Spirit, and not from the other direction. But um, if I mean, there are some people who who like just like divorce, like oh, I I can't handle the pressure. I can't like I can't. Uh, and I feel kind of weird talking about this because I, I, I've never been married. I've never even got close to married. But, I mean, if... I mean, if you divorce her, you will cause her to be unfaithful. Just as any man who marries her is of guilty taking another man's wife. And, I mean, this I kind of think a lot about... Um, what if... The woman I meant to marry is a single mom. I mean, what if, what if her husband was a uh, drunk that beat her, slept around, bad in, uh, 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 bad influences to the family, and she had no choice but to divorce, to leave uh, uh, for, for the betterment of her and her. Uh, her child. I mean, what if, I mean, what if wasn't really uh, infidelity? What if, uh, uh, what if he just left like a deadbeat dad? I mean, if I marry, uh, and I mean, if, if uh, I was divorced because he wasn't around. I mean, he abandoned her. He, then he left. Um, would I be committing adultery? Would I be committing adultery with when one I marry her? I mean, like I, I firmly believe I, I don't want to have sex before I get married. Um, and I, I know that I might f falter on that, and I might stumble, and I might break down. I might find the woman I love, and I might succumb. I mean. The flesh is willing, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. But when I'm wondering if I marry her, what are the committing adultery? And now this is one of the things is, I mean, the, uh, the Pharisees knew the letter of the law, the letter of, of what God told of Moses, but not the spirit. I mean, the law can be twisted, the, the letters can be bent, but the spirit is pure. I mean, you can't... I, I, I mean, if you have the law, but you don't have the spirit, what do you have? And, and so that's why I'm wondering, I mean, can, how can this be used? I mean, some people, I mean, are very black and white. No. Uh, um, uh, that woman would have to be alone for the rest of her life. Raise a child and, and, and look out for um, like handouts and and things like that. I mean, if I mean I mean if I mean if she's able to do that, 
And if that's what she wants to do, all the more power to her. But... Hey, Leo. Um... But, um, I, I think that God would understand. Um, and this kind of go, and, and, and this, and this kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier about, uh, Matthew, uh, Matthew, Mark, uh, Luke, and, and then John. I mean, if, uh, I, I mean, if, if you read and, and see, like, the struggles, um, with, uh, that, that the Pharisees were doing of the letter, knew the letter of the law, but none of the spirit, and of even even the disciples and and God, I mean Jesus, hey Jesus, Jesus is God, wrestled with with, with the, in, in prayer, and I mean in, uh, going, uh, if you're going to uh, something wrestled with what was God's will, and I mean it, it's kind of funny. I I just watched Jacob. Um, the uh, movie uh, with Matthew Modine and Laura Flynn Boyle. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, which is which is weird being a man. Seeing, this is young Laura Flynn Boyle seeing a biblical movie and just thinking about uh, do not lust in your heart or you've committed adultery. And, and you watch, you're watching a Bible, a movie based on the Bible, and you start having lustful thoughts. Um, but the my, the point I think I was getting at was when Jacob wrestled with the angel of the Lord with a uh, physician the Lord and was given the name Israel he who wrestles with God the thing is we all wrestle with God we all wrestle with our sinful nature and and um, the pain and the depression and the anger and the pride and all the things that come with being a, a sinful human being. And so we are all children of Israel. I mean, even if, I mean, if we're not like Israel, Jewish, like, uh, like, like uh, doing Levitical law, we're all children of Israel. We all wrestle with scripture. And that's kind of why I, I hope, I hope that if there are any evangelical fundamentalists um, watching this um, to respond do you wrestle with scripture? Do you wrestle with doubt? Uh, 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 that um, uh, uh, um, uh, versus the letter of the law and the heart of the law. And um, do please respond. Um, because like I said, I consider myself a born-again Christian. Um, being, uh, I was born again almost six months, six months later this month. Um, and, uh, I, I, it was a point, point where I thought I was going to leave Christianity. I was going to be a, a atheist cynic. And I was writing a letter to Jerry Falwell's, um, university. I also wrote a letter to Pat Robertson, like all, all that. And, 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 uh, um, Rick Warren and, and, and I, I wrote, I wrote, I just read that the, the, this past, we read that this past week. Um, like I said, I, I go, but no, I'm going to go in the other direction. I'm going to examine my faith and be closer to God than I ever was before. And I am. And I realize not to seek approval from man, not to, uh, 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 not to look at what men do, but what God does and let the spirit show me the path, show me, let God show me where I'm meant to be. And all of a sudden, I mean, I'm just beginning to realize where I'm meant to be in this world. And so it all goes back. I mean, with this section, the letter of the law versus the spirit of the law. I mean, I, I believe that if you divorce for any other reason from adultery, then adultery, that is... A sin, and you'd be committing adultery if you remarry or if you marry them. But but then I but I also th think uh, uh, I think I mean uh, uh, um, um, uh, I, I believe uh, the King James version uh, says adultery uh, in uh, uh, the contemporary English says uh, terrible sexual sin. But I mean, also, I mean, what what is adultery? I mean, I mean, emotional adultery, et cetera. And so, please, uh, feel free to respond on this, um, because I'm confused about this, because I'm 